This short video is on the use of counting in meditation in relationship to the breath. There's a, a number of uh, Buddhist meditations which use counting. So what I want to talk about here is more underlying skills and principles rather than methodology and techniques. <coughs> so, for example, in the mindfulness of breathing, which has four stages, uh, the first stage is that you, you're aware and present with the sensations of the breath as they come in and as they go out at the end of the out-breath you count once. And over 10 out-breaths you count that way up to 10 and then you start at 1 again. So it's 1 to 10, 1 to 10. The, the important bit is to keep the whole sense of yourself and the breath continuous all the way through so that the counting just comes in lightly right at that last moment and it comes in as a sort of quiet gentle thought a fine thought it's not something that takes you away or it's not sort of very predominant so in that way, the process is you're aware of yourself sitting there, you're aware of the sensations coming in, you're staying with them, staying with them, they start to go out, you're staying with them, staying with them. You're aware of that moment just as you're coming to the transition, to the in-breath coming in, and in that moment you just drop very lightly, very quietly, the number in, whatever it is, one and then the breath naturally comes in and you're there with it. So there's no going away from the process of a continuity of presence with the sensations of the breath uh, as they just keep going. And I think this is part of the, the real skill and art of counting. The counting is sort of a use of thought, but it's very subtle, it's very particular and in relationship to your experience. So in that way, you're exercising your ability to have a fine, subtle thought or mental uh, action in relationship to your experience. So you can practice this in your meditation. So if your thought is too hard or if it takes you away, explore ways of having the, the thought quieter, more perhaps at the back of the mind, uh, and practice keeping a continuity of presence with the sensations. So the important thing is the continuity. In a way, the counting is secondary to that. So if you get too focused on counting, and you lose the continuity, then it becomes more difficult. In the second stage of the mindfulness of breathing, you uh, count the emphasis is on that moment just at the beginning of the in-breath. There's a subtle difference between the two, although in, on paper it might sound exactly the same. So you're aware of the, the breathing, let's say, coming in, you're aware of it coming in, you've got that you're engaged with the sense of the breath, the qualities of the breath. It starts to go out, you're staying with it, you come right to the end of the out breath, and just as just as the breath is starting to come in, you put the number in, you drop it in. One. And again the same principle applies. But what this does is that it intensifies your attention on that moment of in-breath. And that's part of the value of this stage. So there's still the principle that you're keeping a continuity of presence and awareness and engagement with the experience of the sensations and rhythm of the breath and the quality of the breath as uh, they come in and go out but hit and you're still using subtle thought, but now there's this sort of intensification of attention on that moment where the in-breath starts to come in and the counting kind of primes you for that. And 
the more that you practice this subtle thinking and subtle thought, uh, the easier it becomes. Just to finish off on the other two stages of the four stage mindfulness of breathing, uh, on the third stage there's no counting. You're just aware of the rhythm and qualities of the breath. It's a very broad uh, awareness, which is a good thing. You tune in your ability to tune into your ability to keep a continuous flow of broad presence and being in a broad experience. And then the fourth stage is that you start to focus more on the sensations in the nostrils and you can play with uh, uh, going to it, focusing more by going to the sensations or letting the sensations as it were just allowing them to come to you and uh, there's a more kind of open the sensations filling you and uh, you being absorbed the whole of you, your mind and the sensations coming together. So that's the four stages of the mindfulness of breathing.